Hello and welcome to another video during Nurses Month. In week two, we are focusing on nurses recognition. Now this is a topic that's near and dear to my heart. Over the years, I have made it a point to recognize nurses. And so I've run awards programs for nurses, especially related to my job as a magnet program director, where meaningful recognition for frontline nurses is so important in order to retain and even to attract the best nurses. I'm Lisa Chappell, a doctor of nursing practice and associate professor and studying to have my board certification as a health and wellness nurse coach. I make videos for nurses, students, and caregivers. If that sounds interesting, please like this video and subscribe below. First, I'd like to talk about some of the history of Nurses Week. In fact, this month we're celebrating all month long because the American Nurses Association has declared it as Nurses Month. In week one, we talked about self-care of the nurse. So hopefully you've been incorporating the suggestions. I will leave a card somewhere around here for the video that discusses self-care for nurses and caregivers. There are 4 million nurses in the United States as of 2021, and that's actually increased from 3.1 million in the year 2011. Going into 2021, there are more and more individuals who see the value in becoming a nurse. And there's so many reasons for that. And I'm going to talk more about that in week four of the month of May as we celebrate Nurses Month. National Nurses Week is from May 6th through May 12th. And we've been celebrating that since 1982, which ironically enough is the year that I was born. But even before 1982, Nurses Week was not a new concept. Dorothy Sutherland in 1953 of the U.S. Department of Health Education proposed an annual Nurses Day. Well then in 1982 is when the American Nurses Association petitioned the government to have a National Nurses Day. Week. President Reagan signed the official proclamation from May 6 to May 12. The reason that Nurses Week begins on May 6, which oftentimes is midweek, is because our founder of modern nursing, Florence Nightingale's birthday, is on May 6. So in 2020, that actually marked the anniversary of what would have been the 200th birthday of Florence Nightingale. Now, nurses have been the most trusted profession for 19 years in a row. According to the Gallup poll, nurses have ranked number one as the most ethical and trusted profession. Since 1999, nurses have held that number one spot other than the year 2001, where firefighters won during the terrorist attacks on 9-11. So this week, I'd like you to focus on nursing recognition. You must have a nurse in your life who's made a difference to you. Reach out and thank that nurse, and if possible, do it in a public way. And the most meaningful recognitions are attached to stories and examples. So give a story or an example of how this nurse made a difference to you. You can also search for awards programs for nurses. There are so many. You can write a letter to your local newspaper to thank a nurse and tell a story about how they made a difference in your life. Another way that you can thank nurses is through the DAISY Awards Recognition Program. The DAISY Awards were initiated by the family of Patrick Patrick Barnes in 1999. And this foundation has had years of recognizing nurses for stories of compassionate care. They have a program for nurses, typically in a hospital setting, and many hospitals participate in the DAISY Awards program. And usually there are some flyers that you can fill out where they may there may be some QR codes where you can go in and write a recognition for a nurse. They're really special awards. They come with with a daisy pin just for being nominated. And then you'll receive a copy of the nomination as well as a sculpture that's hand carved by artists of the Shona tribe in Zimbabwe. And making these statues actually connect
contributes enormously to their economies. It's a really neat program of giving. The, the statue itself is called the Healer's Touch, and it's this gorgeous sculpture of the circle of care and how nurses embrace and wrap their arms around the people that they care for and how that's a dual relationship of care. So it's a really beautiful program, the, the DAISY Awards. And so that's definitely a way that I would recommend that you could thank nurses. If you don't have the DAISY Awards program or a way to thank a nurse through DAISY, you also might write to the local newspaper with a story about how a nurse made a difference to you. Maybe this is a nursing faculty that really their words still ring in your head. Or maybe this is of a nurse who cared for you at one point, or it could be of a colleague or nursing students. The DAISY Foundation also has an awards program, not only for nurses at, in a clinical setting, but also for nursing faculty and for nursing students recognizing the contributions in the circle of care. Another association that you might look into is the Sigma Theta Tau International, and they have local chapters, and a lot of times there's grant funding behind their recognition. So you could nominate a nurse for an award or for a grant. Look for your local chapter. You also might think about creating an awards program in recognition of nurses. And so what's maybe an easy way that you could advocate for to recognize nurses? And maybe this is having boxes on each unit, even if it's old school shoe box, a stack of cards where stories can be written about nurses, or you can thank nurses and then slip them into that box on the unit. I encourage you to not just write, they're great, thank you so much in a recognition, but to really dig deeper and think about why they would deserve an award or why you would compliment them. So give examples. And Daisy does this really well because they look at stories of compassionate care. And in that example, be thinking about what that nurse did, how they showed presence in that moment, how they changed something for you and made your day a little bit brighter. When you write a recognition, break it down into three parts. So the first part is to say why they would deserve that award or recognition. In the second part, you're gonna give either a story or an example, and then you're gonna summarize it in a closing. And so an intro, thanking them, the middle portion, giving an example or a story of compassionate care, and finally, a closing statement about why they deserve this particular award. And if you follow those three steps, you'll have a pretty meaningful recognition note. And it doesn't have to be elaborate, but it should be meaningful and talk about how this person makes a difference in someone's life, either something that you've observed or something that you've experienced personally from that nurse. So there are also companies that are recognizing nurses during Nurses Week. And I wanna give a shout out to Chipotle because they have always recognized nurses with a free burrito and they're always giving out freebies to nurses that if you can, you could show your nurse's ID that you can get a buy one, get one. They are extending that. And in fact, this year they're giving out 250,000 free burritos with a 10% match to the American Nurses Foundation. They also have a virtual thank you wall. So you might recognize nurses by going to Chipotle's virtual thank you wall to thank a nurse during Nurses Month. So there's lots of freebies for nurses typically during Nurses Week and especially in 2021, there's heightened awareness about the work of nursing. Check out your local newspaper or Google freebies along with Nurses Week and see what you can find. Please comment below Below, who else is recognizing nurses that you can find and what other ways can you think of that would recognize nurses? Some other companies that are consistently recognizing nurses during Nurses Week are Cinnabon, who also support the DAISY Foundation with free cinnamon rolls for the units where a recipient of the DAISY Award occurs. Chick-fil-A also historically recognizes nurses during Nurses Week with some free goodies for nurses. 
the Corner Bakery Cafe if you have that in your area. Dunkin' Donuts is another. And then Crocs has a pretty cool program where they're giving out free pairs of Crocs to nurses at noon each day. And this one is a little more difficult to receive and you have to be a little bit tenacious because at noon each day through the share a pair and they're giving out 10,000 pairs of free Crocs per day for nurses, which is pretty cool, I think. Also check your local uniform store. They're probably running discounts for nurses during Nurses Week and maybe during the month of May for Nurses Month. Starbucks, I guess some locations are doing something for Nurses Week. So maybe check in with Starbucks and see if they're doing something this, this year. Oh, Krispy Kreme, although <laughs> I don't no, how, how do we really need Krispy Kreme? But you can get a free dozen at Krispy Kreme. And historically, they have been great about recognizing nurses as well. All right, so thank you so much for joining me this week for the month of May and Nurses Month 2021. Please like and subscribe. And I look forward to building up this community. Have an amazing month of May. Take care.